Welcome to the how to use video for the GastroCheck Gastrolyzer from Bedfont Scientific Limited. The GastroCheck Gastrolyzer Portable Breath Methane, Hydrogen and Oxygen Monitor allows health professionals to accurately detect a range of gastrointestinal disorders such as lactose intolerance, bacterial overgrowth, SIBO and many more. An oxygen reading is taken to motivate patients into providing an end tidal sample. If they are unable to do this, the gastro check will automatically correct the reading. Clinical papers have cited that there are around 35% of non hydrogen producers, but in fact methane producers instead, and the gastro check gastrolyzer can help aid with a more accurate diagnosis. The gastro check gastrolyzer has two testing options direct breath testing using the mouthpiece and breath bag sample testing, making it adjustable to all testing scenarios. Instrument layout. Breath sample function button. Sampling line dock. Bag sample function button. Bag sample connector. Power on indicator. On off switch. USB cable port. To switch the monitor on, reach around the back and press the on off switch. The monitor will need a 20 minute warm up time before use. The moisture removal filter will last 3 months or 150 tests. When it changes from orange to dark green, this will need replacing. You can place the moisture removal filter onto the monitor if you plan on making a bag sample test. Taking a direct breath test. The patient should remove the mouthpiece from the packaging and push the smaller end onto the silicon adapter on the breath sample line. When the patient is ready, press the breath sample button to begin the test. The monitor will begin to zero, which will take approximately 60 seconds. You can take this opportunity to explain to the patient to exhale for as long as comfortably possible at a steady flow rate, emptying their lungs to ensure the end tidal breath is measured. The test will commence after a beep. You'll notice the O2 value decreasing during the test. This starts from 20.9% and the patient should aim to get this as low as possible. If the patient does not get below 13.9%, the GastroCheck gastrolyzer will recalculate the readings. Once the patient has ceased exhaling, they should press the breath test button to stop the test and bring up the results screen. After the results have been recorded, press the breath test button to go into standby mode, ready for the next test. Interpreting the reading screen. This is a typical result screen after a breath test. Here you can see various pieces of information you may find relevant. During the test, there's a real-time graph to show the test in progress. All methane and hydrogen readings are in parts per million, whereas oxygen readings are taken as a percentage. These two values are the peak reading values for methane and hydrogen. These three values are the real-time reading values. The middle oxygen value is the oxygen correction value. And the two most important values are these two, the corrected final methane and hydrogen readings. Performing a breath bag sample test. To prepare a breath bag, remove both stoppers from each end.
Next, place the clips on either end, ensuring that they are open. A breath bag mouthpiece is then opened by the patient and placed onto one end of the breath bag. Don't forget to place the moisture filter onto the monitor before the test. The patient should blow through the bag with both clamps open until they reach their end tidal breath. As they reach this, they should press the clamp down while still exhaling to trap the end sample. The top clamp can then be closed and the mouthpiece taken off. The breath bag can then be placed onto the moisture removal filter, the clamp at the top released and the breath bag sample button pressed. The test will begin after approximately 60 seconds zeroing. The monitor's internal pump will draw the sample from the breath bag. After 45 seconds, the test will complete and the results will be displayed on the screen. After the results have been recorded, you can press the breath test button to go into standby mode, ready for the next test. Please note that the breath sample bag should be removed either before or immediately after the bag sample has been pressed. To visit the calibration video, please click here.